So today we're gonna have a look at the uh, the pump impeller housing here, and uh, I'm just I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys today a classic mistake with uh, uh, with uh, with uh, with replacing the, the seals in your impeller housing. Okay. Oh, look at that. We got a bit of poopy doop there. Now. The key thing you want to remember is always watch yourself. Watch how you pull it apart so you can put it together properly. Okay, so here's your impeller right there. Okay, and what this does is it sits on a spring that holds a seal. This is a double seal here, you see. And I don't know if you can see that from that angle, but this here, this double seal rotates with the whole the whole shaft of the pump. Okay, right? so we're gonna gently try that out, and I'll be able to show you how this works. So you see here, this face goes against the plate, and this is a. a a very low friction surface it's uh, uh, like a silicone or, or something hard like that and this rubber gasket what this does is this keeps the liquid from traveling through the shaft so these are designed to have a little bit of liquid here to give it the uh, uh, the, uh, the the smooth action on the shaft that you need for the shaft to spin very low friction so you can see how it's designed to have a little bit of liquid in there that's that's how the gaskets uh, lubricate themselves in this kind of system okay so what you don't want to do is install all of this on the inside of the plate which I've seen before okay? this is all you need you can take this plate off and it's just a shaft behind it. You don't need to, to get behind there because that's that's for more maintenance that uh, typically you're not going to need to perform on this piece. So, and you can see how this is a slotted impeller. It fits on this, uh, this shaft here. I don't know what you call that. Yeah, that particular manufacturing technique, but anyways. The slotted impeller fits on the, or maybe it's a bevel, the beveled shaft, so that the whole thing turns together, right? And the important thing to remember is this inner gasket is not supposed to spin. If it spins, it gets worn out. So that's why the thing uh, is designed to spin all together and the low friction bearing, if you want to call it that, uh, allows everything to spin while being slightly lubricated from the liquids in the impeller housing and uh, really that's that's about all you need to know so we're gonna just reinstall this like this and that's just as as easy you want to give this a clean because look at that that's good we'll give this a clean but that just goes right back on there like that and uh, that's all you need to know so thank you for your time, and I hope you learned something today. Uh, 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 take care, folks.